Okay, it's Dor with Tactical Hive. Today's video, we're gonna be going over my top five favorite pistol drills and why I use them. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna be covering my favorite pistol drills. These five drills, I think you pretty much cover everything you need to, to stay fresh on the pistol. I like to do this at the very beginning of a day if I know I'm not gonna get a lot of shooting time in. And these five drills uh, keep me right where I wanna be. All right, for starting out, just go ahead, load, make ready. And we're going to, without rushing too much, we're going to uh, just two shots at the pistol. So, probably have something in my hands already. I'll pretend like I'm transitioning. Touch point, pull, pull, right up. Just like that. Nice and smooth, nothing crazy. And I'm just gonna go ahead, pretend like I have a primary, gonna reach down to my touch point, slide down, seat my grip, pull the pistol out of, straight up. Take my two shots. Come back to high ready. Back to the holster. Simple as that. It's a continuation of the same drill. I'm a little bit farther back and I now have two targets. So nothing changes. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands up here arbitrarily just in case I'm you know, on my phone or whatever. And then the drill will begin. Touch, out, slack. And he's dead. Just like so. Back to the holster. I like to get cold reps in because basically you're carrying this thing around with you all day, all night and you don't know until you know that it's time to whip this thing out and put it to work. So I like to see right where I am. Um, nothing too crazy or special about that. I'm not gonna rush it. I don't want a bad rep. I don't wanna have a problem. In the event of a real world need for this thing, you're not gonna tell yourself to speed up. You're just gonna automatically do so. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. All right, up next. All right guys, up next will be combat reloads. I'm gonna go ahead and set my gun up with one in the chamber, empty mag. And again, I'm gonna come right out of the holster. You don't have to for this one. You can start at the high ready, but might as well start from the holster. And we're gonna go ahead and reload, get the gun right back up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead, reach down, hit that touch point, cinch my grip, release the pistol, get it pointed down range, marry it up with my second hand, take the shot, drop the source, new magazine goes in, rotate, and the next shot, just like so. I like to do that a couple of times just to make sure nothing bad happens. So yeah, that's just combat reload. You can do it as many times as you want. It should be fluid. You should be able to talk yourself through the steps. You should be able to do it in your sleep. So up next, we have immediate remedials. Truth be told, I don't do this one as much, but earlier today, I loaded up a mag with dummy rounds in it. And we're gonna go ahead and just give it a whirl. You gotta know what to do if you get a click instead of a bang. It's gotta be second nature, and the only way you're gonna get to that is if you drill. Just because you know how to do it, just because you used to do it, doesn't mean you're gonna retain that knowledge. This stuff is all very perishable. So from time to time, I like to give it a shot. So just goes a little something like this, just same as it ever was, bring the weapon system out, take shots, scan, save time to come back to the high ready, punch back out. Nope, nothing yet. Punch back out, oh, click, boom, rack. Just like so, good to go. Okay, so what happened there? Got the click instead of a bang. So when that happens, click instead of a bang, I'm gonna rotate the gun toward my support hand, give it a bump, can tap the mag, make sure it's properly seated, rotate the gun again, rack, to get a fresh round into the chamber, and then punch back out and take shots. That is an immediate action drill. All right, tap, rack, bang. So moving on, yeah, nothing, everything's fine, everything's good. Back to high ready, up. Oh. oh, click, tap, rack, click again. Immediately drop the source, lock the rear, clear and safe. New magazine comes out, right back in, just like so. All right guys, for this next one, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take shots at distance. So my normal draw, 
I'm gonna get the weapon pointed down range. I'm gonna bring it up at about a 45 degree. I'll marry up with my support hand and I could stop at high ready. I could muzzle strike somebody or I could start taking shots. But if I'm not in that close proximity to threat and that, that it's a little bit farther away, 25, 30 plus yards, I'm going to alter my draw. And I need to be able to, I need to know how to do that ahead of time before it's time to do so. So to alter the draw, I'm going to bring the pistol out marry up my hands right about here, bring them up and then punch out so that I can line the sights up on my target that's farther away. I'm giving up a lot in the close quarters realm, but it's gonna help me get on target at distance faster. All right, so my target's out. Uh, it's about 30 yards or so. I don't have any barricade or anything just for the demo, but um, I'm gonna go ahead, drill begin. Just go ahead, do your drop, bring it out, bring it straight up, punch it out, take shots. Just like so, bring it back to high ready. And go ahead and reset. So again, it's gonna reach down, bring the weapon up, out. Take shots, bring it back to high ready. If I need to punch back out, shoot that target as well, great. Back to high ready, back to the holster. All right guys, last but not least, the transition. So I'm gonna start off either from high or low ready with rifle, take a shot, attempt to safe as I transition to pistol and re-engage. Right. Just like so. And uh, you can get as many of these in as you want. Um, they're super important. A uh, transition is basically an emergency procedure, just like cutting away your main and deploying your reserve parachute. This one's definitely the most important. It's the one I like to spend the most time on. Obviously, I'm getting good reps out of the holster. I'm getting some time in with the rifle and that transition is very crucial. Let's go ahead and knock a couple out from the high ready. Just like so. Back. And this is the signal that our drilling is done. All right, guys, so those are my top five uh, combat pistol drills. I definitely try to use those as a warm up anytime I get. These definitely work for me. I think they cover just about everything you need to take a pistol into a harm's way. Let me know if this works for you. Hit me up in the comments. Give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.